Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Go. Nicola, how was your, how was your break? Did you come back? Do you feel rested physically and mentally? I mean, not, not so much. I left <laughs> Friday and I came back Sunday morning, uh, Sunday 2.30. So it was not uh, really bad. It is what it is. I'm used to it, so it was uh, normal. Do you think it affected you anyway? I, I know you. a lot of guys were able to get a, a long stretch of time off, but did, did you feel at least well rested enough just going into today? No. How have you learned to handle playing in the All-Star game and then getting back to, to the team? Um, I kind of use the All-Star game just to run around, just to do something. So, you know, I don't know how many minutes I played, but I was just running around just to do something, you know, just to not be lazy five days. If you weren't feeling rested coming out of it, do you want to use any games at any point upcoming to try I mean, and get that back? We will see, maybe, hopefully, or not. We will see, like, I, I'm going to see how I feel. So we will see. I have a good communication with the coach and, uh, and the training staff, so we will see. How do you think the, the team approached this first game coming back out of the All-Star break? Good. Good. So, it, it was yeah. uh, defense was great first half. Uh, we felt a little bit winded, like we felt like uh, out of uh, uh, condition. But I think we pushed the pace, uh, and then we kind of break that. And then after, we were feeling good. Uh, third quarter, of course, was a little bit uh, bad for us. They scored 34 points. but. Uh, you know, that happens as we finish the game real well and we won the game. See, you had a really good game going into the break, which can be tough to sort of keep a rhythm going after that. But what did you sort of think of his minutes coming out? Yeah, he was good. He was good. The defense was uh, really good. He was a uh, really good. Um, he, he had a couple blocks, right? Four. Yeah. He had a, four, blo four blocks. Uh, he was on the glass. He was just a. Uh, you, you felt that his energy and his presence while he, while he is playing. Nicola, uh, over here. Uh, just being the third player in the NBA history to have a triple double against any other team, what does that mean to you? I mean, it was like I always say, it was just uh, something after I finished career, legacy milestone. Like, I'm going to move back, uh, move back, and I will say that's a really cool thing to do. Did you know going into tonight that that was the only team you had never gotten one against? Yeah, I mean, I remember when I played when we played over there that they told me that. So, how did you think uh, Peyton and Christian just coming off the bench? They they had a lot of great defensive activity tonight. Yeah, just... uh, I think they both played good. They both they both played good. Uh, Christian first double double, uh, and he was he was helping us on the glass, of course, and then and then and, and Pivot uh, was really good at defense. He's a really good defender, you know. He can he can guard multiple position, and he never quits. And he has a great length and a great mindset. So they were they were really good today. What sort of progress and improvement have you seen from Peyton defensively this season? I mean, just knowing who you're playing, yes, I think that's going to be the main key. You know, just uh, be smart, use uh, your uh, attributes, let's say like that, and uh, just know who you're guarding. Like, if you're guarding a shooter, if you're guarding a small, uh, fast guy, if you're guarding uh, just just no 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 experience, probably a couple. I mean, he needs to have more games, you know, in his legs. So I think that's going to be the the experience, knowing. Who, who is playing? Who he is playing against? But that's going to be the most important thing for him. I think earlier in the game, you and Mike ran a pick and roll, and then maybe also uh, like a dribble handoff where he got to a floater. Have you seen him kind of become more comfortable in, in those kind of situations? I mean, I, I see him improving on that. I, de, uh, I see him working on that. You know, so why not use it? You know, that can help us, of course. But um, and as long as he feels comfortable with that, he should use it. You guys have a like, last year. You basically get the one seed, and then you have earned it basically in mid March or so, and then you're able to kind of take your foot off the gas a little bit. Uh, just this year, you guys are in a race with a whole bunch of these other teams. Just does it change your mentality in any way, shape, I, or form? I think the most important is just to, uh, to 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 play the right way, and when the players come, just to be the most focused and the most. Uh, the team that played the most, I'm going to say that that's the most important thing.
Michael Moon sort of described it as you, it's not necessarily the top priority. You guys aren't going to be overly concerned if you don't get that number one seat. Obviously, you want it, but is that kind of the feeling in, in the room as a whole that you guys can sort of manage a deep run as a whole as long as you're getting healthy? I mean, my, 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 my opinion is you need to be just the best version of yourself in the playoffs, you know. If you even if you're top seed and you're you're not playing good, I think that's not good. You will lose in the first round, especially how West is really good, tough. Nobody wants Lakers in the first round or Golden State in the first round, you know. So I think it's a, the most important thing is uh, uh, the 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 focus that we play in the in the in the, in the, play, in the playoffs. Okay. Thank you. Westside. Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. Hey. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. We on the top. Woo, woo. Had to get it with my guys. Never stop. Woo, woo. Mr. Go and split.